Hey guys, what's up? It's Parker Kelly. Earlier this week, Dr. Court and the Chapel practicum team asked me if I would share a student perspective on what abundant life is and how we can have it while going through the difficult times. And um, let me press in real quick and then we'll get started. Dear Lord, thank you for this opportunity I have to get to talk to my fellow classmates about abundant life and share my thoughts and what you have to say about it. Um, I ask, Lord, that you'd give us a sense of peace during this time. You know, everyone's trying to figure everything out. This is something that we've never experienced before. and There's just a lot of anxiety, a lot of worries. And I ask, Lord, that you'd just give us that sense of peace. Uh, please be with me as I talk. Please speak through me and reveal to everybody what you're trying to say. Um, it's in your name I pray. Amen. So, uh, I know that there's a lot of anxiety going on, going around with the whole tornado going through Nashville, you know, completely destroying everything, completely destroying the school, the whole coronavirus pandemic, you know, spreading around, uh, it's forced us to go to online school, something that we've never done before. And it's a situation that a lot of us have never been in. Uh, we're trying to figure out everything and you know, it's just, it's crazy. But uh, I was reading a verse earlier this week. It was First Peter 5, 7. It says, give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. And I, I think that it's very important that we talk to God. We're telling him how we feel, telling everything that we're thinking. Just, that's how you build a relationship with God, is by talking to him. Just like you, your relationship with your best friend. You build that relationship by talking to him interacting with them, doing things with them. Same thing with God. Talk By talking to God, that's how you build your relationship with Him. And I think that's very important, especially during these times right now. You know, I have a feeling that, you know, nowadays we get distracted by almost everything. You know, sports, uh, musicians, actors. Uh, and I feel like God has kind of allowed this to happen so that we can get our focus back on what's most important and that's Jesus focusing on Jesus